it's uh december 8th or 9th anyways um but uh hey we're all here at the conklin free gang and i just wanted to let you know busy morning i think it's relatively around um 40 degrees this morning pretty nice morning out here a little hazy but i want to i'll give you an update we have concrete being poured in free gang's garage today plus we're going to pour both porches we're going to use the outside exterior match mix for both all this and give it a little bit of garage floor that way so we can get these porch caps poured before it gets too much colder so we can get the siding and stuff going on these um, i'm going to turn this around give you a little idea what's going on we got the, all the mechanical plumbing and um, electrical going on conklin and they'll be moving over to the free gang and we got the free gang all um, dried in last night so uh i'm going to turn around and show you what's going on this is our conklin site and like I say, that's getting the porch cap. You can see it getting ready there for the porch cap. Our free gang, Custom Lake Home, is over here. That got finished framing in yesterday. Already dried in by the roofer. And the service is scheduled for this, but we're getting ready right now. The garage floor has already been poured on that one. We're getting ready to pour this garage floor right now. I'm blast out here. I'll dump you out and then I'll have him pull up there. Hey, what concrete company are we using today, James? We're going to go with Schaefer's today. We're going to use Schaefer's today? Yeah, man. All right, and, and these guys got good mud and everything? Yes, and, sir. Well, how, what's our plan today? We're doing an exterior pour on an interior. Why? Well, we got two porches that are outside, and it's okay to do an interior mix. Or exterior it's not, mix. Yeah, good to do an exterior mix on interior we can get away with that but we can't do exterior on interior so we didn't for, for, for people to understand why what is the difference so that, that may, we can educate people on what the difference is, is exterior interior concrete uh limestone uh limestones for your exterior a little bit more durable holds up through the elements interior we use a native mix so yeah, that's man. that so there's you know a lot of people don't understand that right it's all all concrete and we can pour it out. well why can't you pour that when you're pouring that garage floor that basement floor why can't you pour my exterior it because it doesn't have the integrity it won't give it the durability so it's today we're going to use an exterior mix so we can catch both these porch caps while we got decent weather yes sir right isn't that our goal so okay i appreciate it this, sir. yeah man what's the name of your company james light of concrete there we go and we go back here and we're going to keep looking now they just got done framing a free gang in today yesterday and like i say we just got to dry it in everything let's go back take a quick look at it let's just check real quick see if we got a service yet you see the petty bones getting hauled away the concrete's already setting back there beautiful busy morning now the service isn't on yet so that means the service will be going on yet today we like to get power our services hooked up as soon as we can we've been no, a lot of shortages on um electrical parts and gas moving parts and stuff so we got to stay on top of that so we can get these things ready as soon as possible we had to put this retaining wall in here because we're going to have this common drive right here that's going to go between the two they're going to keep it we don't know what we're going to do yet for a finish on it but this is what it's going to look like so we had to retain this because this is the um free gangs custom home and we couldn't get up to the porch so today we're pouring the porch cap and stuff so that'll be a sidewalker then going into there so it's going to be really cool minimal retaining walls down here, I think what we did was really cool, and it really helped on the framing, is that we don't ha we didn't slope it to the lake. We're gonna there will be a slope, but it's gonna be a gradual slope instead of a steep slope. By doing that, we left four foot of wall out right here, which will be four foot. This will be all flat with just a little slope so the water will run, and then we'll be actually um, building that a perimeter runner, and it'll have storage. Check out this porch. That's gonna be the screen porch up there. We got 22 foot or 28 foot poles or whatever on that. We had to build those poles so we could get the integrity that we wanted. So those are laminated posts. Those windows up there, pretty creative to get installed, but got it done. And it helps having this flat surface right here so we can pull our petty bones up and be level and stuff. Same thing over here on the Conklin, we're gonna do the same thing. He's only gonna be two foot, but we can still get some storage. We'll flatten underneath these and give them storage underneath these lower decks. Conklin's almost already um, done with all the roughings already, so we'll be moving on to insulation and drywall on that one. The teams all move over here and start working on this one. So, hey, stay tuned. Building Dreams Construction. Have a great day.